Chapter 5 Understanding Time Kids, time has three parts. What has gone by is the past. What is going on now is the present. What is yet to come is the future. Today is Monday. The word today shows the present time. Tomorrow is my birthday. The word tomorrow shows the future. Yesterday, Granny told me a story. The word yesterday shows the past. Time can be understood using means such as calendars, school timetables, etc. Do you know? It is important to understand time for studying history. Sometimes, old statues, coins, and shards of pottery, etc. are found while digging the foundations of a building. Kids, these things are studied carefully. Through these studies, we come to know about the period of time to which they belong. And I must tell you, it is quite interesting to study things like that. Use your brain power. Today's newspaper becomes old tomorrow. But if we cannot remember a particular fact, we search through all newspapers to find the information we need. You know what this means? This means that today's newspaper will, tomorrow, become an important means of getting to know history. Interesting, right? Measuring instruments. How do we measure time? To understand time, we divide it into seconds, minutes, hours, day and night, fortnight, month, year. In this way, time can be measured. Water clocks, nava glass and the calendar are instruments of measuring time. This is a water clock. This is an hour glass. And this is a calendar. Do you know? In the 14th century, the hourglass came into use in Europe. It consisted of two connected glass vessels fitted in a wooden frame. Dry fine sand was poured into one of the vessels. The connecting hole between the vessels allowed the sand in the top vessel to fall into the lower vessel. The hourglass was constructed in such a way that it took one hour for all the sand to fall from one vessel into the other. The clock was turned over as soon as all the sand had fallen into the lower vessel. This is how a period of one hour was measured. These clocks were used in India too. Try this. Stick photographs of yourself from the past and present in the frames below. In the frame of the future, draw a picture of what you will look like in 20 years. Now this is going to be fun. Go ahead and do it. I was like this when I was a baby. Past. Now I am like this. Present. I will be like this after 20 years. Imaginary drawing. Future. Can you tell? Kids, why do we make partitions of time in different ways? Well, 
For convenience of everyday work, time is divided in different ways. For example, while using words like now, a while ago, in a while, or today, yesterday, and tomorrow, we are unknowingly measuring time in our minds. Now let us revise what we have learned. For convenience of day-to-day -day work, time is split into parts. When we use words like right now, in a while, or later, we unknowingly measure time in our minds. Time is measured by using instruments such as clocks, calendars, and school timetables. Time is divided into parts such as second, minute, hour, day and night, or week, fortnight, month, and year. We get an understanding of time through historical buildings or old objects like coins, statues, or shards of pottery found in an area. They help us to understand the history of that place.